hello, Springy here. Just having a little tinker with the Escort, the uh, MOT, the first MOT, um, is in four days' time. So I thought I'd put the cam belt cover back on, just in case that's uh, naughty for the MOT. And I've been thinking about putting it back to original with the air filter. I put the the single. Uh, single choke Weber carb on it because the VV Ford carb was dead um, but you can run the original air filter on it at the time because I couldn't get to the uh, adjustment screws for the carb I put a K&N small compact chrome uh, boy racer thing on it and I had to reroute the vacuum pipes and I took off the heat exchange uh, cowling goes on the manifold that puts hot air into the air filter on startup. Um, she's running absolutely beautiful. Um, so it's just been niggling me that I wanted to make it look, um, everything else in the car is stock and I wanted to put the original filter back on. So I thought I'll give it a try, put it all back on as it should be, see how she runs. Well, I have put it all back on as it should be and she runs just beautifully and you haven't got that induction howl which is okay for the first two or three drives in it you know it's a bit boy racer but this isn't a boy racer car um, so anyway it's running really sweet so I'll give you just a little look about what I've done before I rush off to the airport to pick up Tracy back from Spain so see you in a bit Okay, well this is what I've done. I've put all the original air filter, air intake, um, this little heat exchanger thing with a hot air pipe which goes up into this vacuum thing. For In the 80s we used to think that hot air was good on startup. Um, obviously now we've discovered through the advances in Formula 1 that cold air is better. But having said that, Put it all back to original. Um, Rerouted all the vacuum pipes that go up to the air filter and off to bits and pieces. Um, I will, now that it's running fine, I will actually shorten all this and tidy it up. Um, and at some point in the future, I'll take that off and clean it up and give it a coat of high temperature silver just to tidy it up. And I'll clean all this back to the Ray. It's got some whatever, some old polish or something stuck to it. But yeah, that's what I took off. Um, just a sec. All right, so that's what I had originally sat on the the um, new Weber single port carb, single choke carb. Um, I had to change the nuts because the dome nuts that were on it were catching the underneath of the bonnet. This is supposed to be um, exactly for the, the Weber carb that's on here and for this exact year and model of car, but it always touched the bonnet. Uh, that is just rubber. I did actually stick a, a rubber uh, what's it. Uh, I need to see this stuff. I stuck some of that round it because it was catching the bonnet there and there. The two screws. Oh, sorry, the back. The back. Anyway, catching the bonnet. So I wasn't very happy about that, even though this is supposed to be an exact fitment. And on the the breather, which normally breathes back into the air filter. Obviously that was hanging loose, so I stuck a, a breather on it, the type that I said I hated that I took off my bike because they're not stock. So I've well, just, second time I've smacked my head on that corner this morning. So anyway, that was a lot of waffle. Um, back to stock and running fine. I thought it might have run a bit rich. Um, because the way I'd set it up with all that 
extra air flowing in. But I thought, suck it and see. And to be honest, it drives fine, drives beautifully, starts, drives and runs, and it's a lot quieter. And I think that look with the rest of the car being completely stock is um, happy days. So I will need to clean that up and do a little bit of touch up. There's a few, a few other marks in here. In fact, I need to get the insulation, the original insulation that goes in here. And uh, there's a seal that runs along here somewhere, or runs along there. So a few little farkles to, well, anti-farkles because they're um, OEM stock gear. So I'm gonna search for this so that I can get it all back nice and pretty. Um, I'm just the odd one out. I'm just with my bikes and my cars and everything. I've always been sort of obsessed to getting them back to as much as back to how they come out of a factory. Um, the only exception on this, obviously, is the carb. You just can't run them on a VV carb um, unless you've got a brand spanking new VV carb, which I'm sure you can't get anywhere. Um, they're virtually impossible to strip down and clean out like a normal carburetor. Um, but this single choke Weber um, was actually fitted to some of the Mark III, later Mark III's um, as a standard item. So depending on what year and uh, what engine you had, this, this is, or this is Weber's replica of what they would have done. Um, and it just runs beautifully. It's just so easy. There's a, a mixture screw and um, an idle speed screw. I've got this one as a manual choke. I could have got the automatic choke version, so which runs off the two water pipes I've got bypassed. But um, I'm not a great fan of automatic chokes. Um, so that's uh, another exception to the rule. But uh, I like the control of the manual choke. Anyway, that's far too much waffle. Just thought I'd uh, give a little update. I'll let you know how the first MOT that I've had done on it goes. Uh, it was MOT the day before I bought it from the, the dealer I got it from. Um, and I've done 300 miles on it in that year and obviously you've seen how I've been through it and replaced everything um, so hopefully we'll get some good news on Tuesday um, if not if there's anything that needs doing to it not a problem I'll just do it to it so it'll let me know if it's all it's like the dogs putting me off over the road um, might go and get me uh, air rifle joke of course Right, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon and I'll let you know how the MOT goes and if we have to do any other bits and pieces. So, I've been Springy. Thanks for watching. See you later. Take care.